Hi everyone. Today you are going to create your tactile color wheel. So go ahead and grab your um, big baggie that has um, these materials. It has your color wheel with um, some 3D puff paint um, and then your example and your pieces. So the first thing we want to talk about the color wheel is our primary colors. So you guys should know your primary colors. So um, you can go ahead and grab out your primary color pieces, your circles. You're going to need some glue um, or glue stick. So um, you should be grabbing out your primary color circles, which are the bigger circles in the bag. And I like to start at the top with red, but you don't have to. Um, red is one of our primary colors. So you are going to glue, I'm going to stick mine on there, your red um, textured circle at the top of the triangle. This straight line triangle is the primary color triangle that's pointing up and it's a straight line. You can feel that it's got some puff paint. Okay. So uh, you're going to put one primary color at the top. I put red. Then you're going to go down to one of the corners and grab your other, um, another primary color wheel. I've got some double stick tape that I'm using, but you guys are going to be actually using your glue. So I picked blue. Okay. Your textures might be a little different than mine because I've been cutting lots of these. Um, so that is another texture. So you'll know that that is a second primary color. So red, blue, and your third primary color is yellow, okay? And so all of your primary colors are at the points of the straight line triangle pointing up. Those are the colors that make every other color um, for the world. So every color is made out of these primary colors. If there weren't these primary colors, then you would have um, just these, right? You just have some random colors. So primary colors make all of the other colors. So if you add blue and red together, you're going to get your purple, okay? So in that corner, in between your blue and your red, you're going to add your purple circle. And your secondary colors are going to be at the points of this dotted raised line, okay? There's a dotted raised line. So if you take your finger and you follow along, you're going to find a dotted raised line, which is your secondary colors, okay? So in between your red and your blue is going to be your purple. Now, if we mix together red and yellow, we are going to get orange, okay? So you're going to take your orange circle and put it in between the red and the yellow. And I'm going to kind of move mine down here a little bit. Okay. So your orange and <laughs> yellow. All right. Or your red and yellow make orange. So at the bottom of that point is going to be your last secondary color. So yellow and blue make green. You have one circle left, which is your green, and all these are different textures. Now, the way that I want you guys to remember where these, what these are also is we have words um, that are stickers that also have braille so that you can um, remember where they go and read them either with bold black print or with braille. So I'm going to, some of these, um, they're kind of hard to un undo some of them. But if you have a parent that has some um, nails that can get that off, I've got my blue sticker. So I'm gonna place my blue sticker underneath my blue circle so that I know this texture is blue, it's got my braille, it's got my word, and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to use um, up all of these stickers and place them underneath or to the side of your circles. So I'm sure you guys are gonna have 
as hard of a time um, as I am peeling these off. So my purple sticker with braille purple is going to be under my purple. For your red, you can put it off to one of the sides. Okay. Um, I just wanted you to have this color wheel so that you know, um, so that you know what textures are what. And when we have another painting um, that we're going to mix colors, you'll know exactly what ones to mix. Okay. So I'm not going to stay on here and fumble <laughs> with um, getting these stickers off of the paper, um, but I am going to finish the rest of those so you have all of your colors labeled so that it looks like your, um, your handout that I sent, a color copy of that, but with your braille um, words on there as well, okay? So for today, that's all you need to do is create your tactile color wheel and maybe go over, you know, what colors mix together. If you are looking at your color wheel, um, your red and yellow make your orange and your red and blue make your secondary purple and your blue and your yellow make green. Now, if you wanna know what colors are complementary that go really well together, you would go straight across the color wheel from each other. If, if this um, red reached its arm out to shake hands across the color wheel, it would reach the green. So red and green are complementary colors, which is probably why Christmas they use those two colors. Um, those are complementary. If purple reached its arm out all the way across the color wheel, it would reach yellow. So yellow and purple are complementary. They go really well together. Um, and then if you reach, orange reaches its arm out all the way across the color wheel, it's going to reach blue. So blue and um, orange are complementary colors. So just in case you want to create brown ever, your complementary colors mix together to make brown in different ways. So. Um, your purple and yellow will make a yucky brown. It's not very attractive, but it is a brown. And then your orange and blue make a brown and um, your red and green also can make a brown. So there's just a little bit about the color wheel. We will continue with more of this um, when we're color mixing with our paints another day. And that's all I need you to do is create your tactile color wheel. That has your braille words, also has some tactile lines so you know where everything is, okay? Um, hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I, um, I'll talk to you next time, bye.